Pack. My name is Valkor and welcome to Dauntless. Now today we're going to be talking about how damage work in Dauntless. Now this topic is going to be a little bit confusing at first but it's actually not really confusing and I just want to shed some light on how the damage works and what I think is the best way to approach this numbers and this damage types and I think it's a very interesting topic. I really like the depth that it brings to the hunts and the changes that it actually does. So if you enjoyed this video make sure to check out the links in the description where you can find our Twitter, our Discord channel and above all guys if you're not part of the Wolfpack hit that subscribe button and join the Wolfpack. One more thing to know guys is remember that we're still running those giveaways for Dauntless closed beta keys. If you got any friends make sure to tell them to check out this channel, check out the giveaway, participate and you can even participate if you're playing the game because the keys you can give them to your friends. So anyways I hope that you guys the best of luck and make sure to participate and let's just jump into it so with the latest update on sharpening your skill we essentially got also new damage types we've been here about the damage type for a little bit but now we actually got these damage types in the game and we can actually see what they do thanks to the new numbers added in this last update and essentially we got three types of damage we got blunt piercing and slashing damage all these damage have their own specific advantages when you take them to a hunt and they have their own uses all right, let's start with blunt damage. Blunt damage is essentially great for staggering behemoth and is especially good against legs and heads. It also lets you interrupt and knock down the behemoth. And you can actually see this in game because the behemoth will actually show a sign that is being concussed or concussion. You will see kind of like bubbles and swirls around its head. And that means that you probably did enough damage so the behemoth will actually stay still for a little bit, allowing your team to actually just dish out a lot of damage in that window of opportunity. Moving on to the piercing damage, we actually have this on the warp pikes, which is the brand new damage introduced in the game. And essentially what it does is exposes the behemoth parts and amplifies the damage that it takes. Which is very important for slayers that are using slashing weapons like the sword, chain blades, or axe. Because if they actually hit that exposed part, that wound part that you can see in the game, because the behemoth will start having like a glowing spot in their body that actually increases the damage those weapons do and it's gonna help you essentially get part breaks a lot faster. And then we have the slashing damage which is the pretty much the go-to damage to actually start breaking parts and severing limbs. Again this is carried by the sword, chain blades or axes and even the uh, right click from the war pike actually does it as well. And knowing that you can actually do more damage when you're hitting an exposed part by the by the piercing of the war pike is actually recommended that you go ahead and start focusing on those because very key points in the behemoth needs to be broken in order for you get, for you to get parts. It could be tail, it could be legs, it could be the head, anything like that. If you see those glowing points, you should go after them, especially if you're using weapons that do slashing damage. Essentially just to get part breaks a lot faster and be able to complete your gear and, and, and continue progression in the game. And now that we know all the different types of damage that we do in the game, we actually need to talk about the damage numbers and their color and the information that they give you whenever you are in the hunt. So we have four types of colors. We have gray, blue, red, and yellow. All these numbers actually give you information that is very important to know what you're doing in the actual situation. And first we need to talk about the gray damage. Gray damage is no more than just your regular raw damage that you're doing to any behemoth. There's nothing special, there's no benefits, it's just your raw power going against the behemoth. But then things get a lot more interesting from here. You get the blue damage. The blue damage is essentially staggered damage which is caused by any blunt damage that you do or any attack that is going to interrupt or knock down a behemoth. You will see these numbers a lot when you're using a hammer, but you will also see them when you're using war pikes when, when the behemoth starts doing things that they can be knocked down with. You can shoot them and it'll actually do the knockdown damage and hopefully you're able to knock down the behemoth or interrupt its action for that matter. And now it gets even more interesting because we get the red damage. The red damage is no other than exposed damage only seen with the piercing damage of the war pike and it essentially works to increase the damage that the affected part takes. Also, you have to keep in mind that there's something very important about these colors. The more red damage you do, the higher your chances to actually apply the wound to that specific part in the behemoth, which then can be exploited by slashing damage. And to top it all off, we got the big yellow numbers that you see in the hunts. Now, these yellow numbers are damage that is specifically done to the parts of a behemoth. When you look at the behemoth, you need to look at them as a, let's say a Lego, you know, a, a different types of blocks. And every single part of the behemoth will have its own little section that actually deals specific damage to that area where you can break parts like the head, the legs, tails and stuff like that. So it is critical to combine all these weapon damages, all these numbers to make sure that you're able to essentially reach the threshold for each one and then break the parts or expose the parts or knock down the behemoths respectively. 
And there you have it, guys. This is all the information that I can gather from all this new damage types, all these numbers popping out in the screen. Hopefully, it's a little bit more clear for you guys to actually understand what you're doing whenever you see different colors of damage. And you can actually use this to, our, to your advantage to start doing better in the hunts killing behemoths a lot faster and just overall working as a team because it's very important that in this game you guys work as a team as when you get to all those higher tiers behemoths get exponentially more difficult again a lot of information here i hope that this video was very helpful to you guys if you guys got any questions about the damages make sure to throw them in the comment section down below let's get a conversation going and this video was actually very cool to make because i actually got to test things that that's what I like to do I like to test things and see how they works and it's actually very interesting information it changes the game quite a bit because then you know that you can actually work together as a team and each one of the weapons have their own unique things that brings to the table but anyways if you enjoyed this video guys make sure to smash that like button I really want to get this video to at least 10 likes I know that we can do that easily you guys are awesome and I, I feel like this video deserves it there's a lot of good information here and as any other information video I hope that you guys find it useful make sure that you guys ask any questions you have but anyways that's gonna be for this video guys make sure to check out the links in the description where you can find our twitter our discord channel and above all guys smash that subscribe button and join the wolf pack and as always my name is valcor and i'll see you next time